Hey, Clayton Bates here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update the color swatches on your Shopify store. Now, basically, any Shopify store that enables color swatches, that has color swatches, normally they only have about five or six colors that are built into the theme, and all the other colors you actually have to make up. So if you enable color swatches, and for example, if you can see this product here, we actually have two that are white boxes. That's because we don't actually have a color for them. And in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can actually update the color swatches so they all aren't white. And basically, this should work on most themes. So one of the two ways should work on most themes if you have color swatches. If they don't, just leave me a comment um, below what theme you have and I'll try to find some information for you. Now, the first really important thing about actually doing the color swatches is you actually have to know what file size and what type of file that you actually need to do. And basically most themes, if you actually like Google, for example, motion theme color swatches, most, most themes actually have documents on their website to actually tell you what type of file it needs to be, what size it needs to be. So for example, I'm doing a motion theme and basically if I just type that in, it's right there on Google and you can actually click to their site and check. Um, the Shopify community forum most likely has someone who's asked this question before. So if you if you Google Shopify community forum, um, you should be able to search it there. Um, I, I would say nearly, nearly anything, there's probably someone who's asked the question what file size it should be. So you can check there as well. If you're one of my clients, um, just shoot me a message and I'll actually tell you the file size you need to actually upload. Um, that's no dramas at all. Now, basically how you actually check before we actually get into it, how you check if you have color swatches on your actual theme template is you can go here into the back end, just go online store themes, and then you just go into customize the theme. <clears throat> now you can actually just click into a product or you can go up here and click this button here, go to products, and then go default product. Now I'll just move my head out of the way a little bit here. Now most themes, if over here on the left, if you if you click products, it's going to have some um, of the options for the products. Now motion theme doesn't have the color swatches right here, um, but most themes should actually have it here. If you can't find it here you'll most likely just have to go back and go into theme settings and then they'll have something like products or product tiles, something like that. Um, motion theme, it doesn't have it here in products, but it has it here in product tiles. So if we click there and we zoom down, see how it says enable color swatches, you just select there and it will enable it. Um, or say something like buttons or if you want drop downs or color swatches, there'll be something like that there which will actually show you if you have color, color swatches in your theme template. And then you just press save up there. I'm not gonna save this. Now, how to actually make the file. So basically, if we went to a site like this, pixlo.com, um, to this editor, we could actually make the file in here. Um, I'll leave a link to this site in the description as well. Um, basically, when you're here, if you click file, and then open image or new new image. Um, basically, you cl click there, and then you could you could name it if you want. It doesn't really matter. And what you'd do over here is where it says width and height. You would actually put the width and height of um, the color swatch you need for your website. This is really important that you get this width and height right. If this is wrong, um, then it most likely will not work. Sometimes it will work. Um, that's why it's super important that that you actually go to the theme. Um, support documents and actually check and actually find what the file size has to be. Um, I've already got one here, um, so this one will work, but yeah, definitely go check. Super, super important. Now, if we go back here, we've got some here. Now, even here, it has a default yellow. Um, sometimes that yellow is not going to be good enough for you, so we're actually going to make a yellow one. So basically, if we go to our desktop, we can drag and drop the image straight into here if we wanted and then just press add content um, the other thing we could do is click this little plus button and then click on image and then just grab it straight from our desktop so 
yellow like that if we wanted to. Um, totally up to you. Now, what we actually want to do here is we need to find the color code. So if we click this little button here, it says picker, and then we actually hover over the color and just click it. See over here how it selected this color. So basically we have this color now. If we clicked here, it actually has a color code there. Now, what we actually want to do is just hide, if you can see it here, these little ticks, um, I might zoom in, I know, yeah, these little ticks here should be okay. But basically, if you unselect these ticks and then click on back on this first one, so we're actually going to add the color here. So we're going to go to paint, uh, fill, so like this little paint tin, and we're going to click there and then just click on this square here. So see how it's changed the color now? So we now have the file. So we have to actually save it. So if we click file and then save, we want to rename this to yellow. Now, it's really important that you don't use any capital letters and you don't use any symbols. So if you have a color swatch that is black and white, you actually have to spell it out black and white on the file and actually as a variant. Um, you can't have black and then symbol for N and then white. That just will not work. Um, and then th we need to make them PNG for this one. So we're going to select PNG and then we're going to press download. <clears throat> so this is downloaded it to our computer. We're just going to click this and open it. So we have to actually save it. So if we right click and then press save as, what we're going to do here is press desktop because we're going to save it to our desktop and then see how this one says yellow and then brackets for like if that ever comes up you can't have those brackets it has to be yellow like that and then press save now if we go back to our computer we now have this swatch here so it says yellow like that we've made our first one congratulations now what i'm going to do is just make up another couple of them just to give you an idea of what you need to do for other examples. So if we actually go, if we close this and then we grab, for example, this dark heather and we, we add it here. Now we have dark heather. So this is actually two words. So what you have to do, get the picker, click there, then unselect this and then click on the background and then go the, the fill one and then we've just made this color. Now with dark heather, what we have to do, you can't have any spaces. So for example, if we put dark, we have to put the little, the little middle line, I forgot what it's called, um, and then heather. So basically we can't have any spaces here. It has to be that little line there, then press PNG, download. We're gonna open this up. Now the reason why I have so many files that have like bracket one bracket is because I've made so many color swatches like I've already made all these so for example I've probably made yellow like a massive amount of time so we would just want to backspace that press desktop press save and we've made that one as well now if you don't want to just make ones that are full color I've actually made another example here so I've got this one here we're going to drag that into here. Now, for example, sometimes you don't want to just have a color here. Um, you, you want to have like, say, see this art just in the middle of the shirt. You want to do something like that. So if you wanted to do that, you would actually turn off the background and then just have this image here. We could go and, and press this one, arrange, so we can actually move it around or make it bigger. So for example, if we wanted to make it the same size, We'll just like click and hold those buttons there. So we could actually make that the color swatch, but I don't actually want to do that. I want to make just this section here the color swatch. So what I'm going to do is just zoom out a little bit and then just keep, keep making it a bit large until it fully fills. So we still need to make it a little bit bigger. So see how we, we have the swatch there and it's just that color there. Um, we can actually make it. Now, sometimes the image might be a little bit blurry when you do that, um, but it should be okay on the website because it's gonna make the file really small. Like right here is actually pretty big. 
um, so it doesn't really matter as much. Now with this one, I'm going to press file and press save. Um, I've just made it as example, so it probably wouldn't be like that for you. Then PNG download, open this one up, and then oh, I made a little mistake there, but that's okay for the example. <clears throat> then I'm going to save it to the desktop, and I'm just going to go over it. Now, if we actually go back to our website, the first way we actually add this color swatch in, um, so this is doing it through settings and files. So a lot of the Shopify 2.0s are doing it through this way and a lot of the older version of Shopify, um, so more than four, four weeks old, is doing it the next way I'm going to show you. But basically what we'll do here is press settings and then go to files and we're actually going to upload the file. So if we click upload files, we're going to do the yellow. So we're going to select yellow and then, oh, sorry, go desktop. So select yellow and open. So we'll just do one, for example, now. And we'll actually have this little file here. So if we actually go back to the website and press refresh, it should actually change it. So see how it changed the color of yellow there? And basically you just keep uploading each one. And I'm just gonna bring this over here and then upload some more. So upload files, desktop, dark heather. And I actually made a mistake with example, I think. Yep, I did. So. This is good, good what I just did here. So see how example has a capital? It can't have a capital. So we're going to rename it with example here. That's really important. You can't add capitals. Um, so I've, I've made the little mistake. Hopefully um, you don't either. I'm just going to add the example here as well. Now, if we go back here and we just refresh this page, the dark heather should actually upload here. So see how dark heather has actually come up here? We've got dark heather. Now, the reason the example one hasn't come up is because I actually named the variant example and example, which you can't do. So basically, if we actually go back to Shopify here and go to products, and we actually click into this product, if we actually go down to the variant name and just change it to example, this will actually work and press save. So if we go back to the site here, see how we now have the example one there? It's all worked. Now, the other way to actually do it is you actually do a little bit of coding. It, it seems like a bit daunting, but it's not as hard as you would think. Basically, what you do here is go online store And then you go over here to your theme template and you just press actions and then press edit code. I'm pretty sure most of the Shopify 2.0s aren't going to be doing it like this anymore. But basically we have all the code for the website down here. And what we have to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, press assets. And this is like for the colors and stuff like that for the actual swatches. What we'd actually do here is add a new asset and then choose file. And then basically we'll just upload um, one, at a, one at a time. So this yellow one and then press upload. And see how it says yellow down here? We've actually added that file into the website. So that should actually work. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't have two. I'm just double checking something here. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, you can. So basically, that should work. So if you have about 20 different colors, all you do is just go you, assets here and then just add new asset, keep uploading them one at a time, and that should actually change these colors right there. Now, hopefully that helped. Like I said, um, let me know in the comments. There is one big thing that a lot of people mess up when they actually do this stuff. Um, 
not actually the swatch itself, but basically see how I'm clicking on these buttons here and the image over here isn't changing. That's because there isn't an image assigned to each of these variants. So what you would actually have to do there is actually go back to Shopify, click on products and then click on the product. And then what we want to do now is we want to scroll down to the variants and see how there's this little blank image here. That's because an image hasn't been assigned to it. So basically if we click dark heather here, <clears throat> we actually want to assign an image here. So we're going to click that image and then press done. And then for example, the example one, we just click there and then click that one and then press done. I'll just do two for now. But basically if we actually refresh this page now, and we click on dark heather. Oh, maybe I need to do one more refresh. Oh, well, it's all right. It hasn't updated it yet. But see how it's got dark heather here now? So if we click on example, see how it changed the image here? A lot of people actually forget to do that. So just make sure that in your product, you add all the, all the images here. It's just going to be heaps better if you do that. Because if you think about it, when someone comes here and they, they're like, oh, I really like green and they click green and this image doesn't change, um, you, if they like green, you really want them to see the green image. So it's really important that you actually assign an image to each variant um, so it actually changes. Uh, I think that's about it. Hopefully that helped. Um, like I said, let me know in the comments um, if this didn't work or you couldn't find the right sizes or anything, just let me know. I'll try to find an, an article or something for you. Um, and like I said, if you're a client of mine, just shoot me a message and I'll send you the exact which way you have to do it on your website, what size the swatch has to be and everything like that. So until next time, have a good one. Also, let me know what videos you want me to make next. I'm trying to be really dedicated to actually doing YouTube videos. Um, and if you haven't, like and subscribe really helps the channel out. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye.